my wife told me to, uh, to write a speech, and um, I did not write one because, well, okay, I'll just be the truthful. I didn't write one because I kind of know how um, the Broadway folks feel about Disney sometimes. Oh. So I didn't feel that I was going to win. You thought just because Disney is... Uh, uh, Disney is. I don't. I don't want to put words no, no. into your mouth. Disney is a fantastic company, and they've done great things, and they've had diversity on their stage since the beginning of time, mm -hmm. from them putting Meshach Taylor into uh, Lumiere, all the way to Lion King, all the way to Little Mermaid Sisters, all the way to Tarzan, Aida, all the way to Aladdin, all the way to Frozen. There's been diversity all over that stage from the time Disney started. But New York City, you know, it's a big company. Let's this on the big company that's brought in millions of dollars to New York City. So I just assumed, you know, they weren't going to, you know, give me the award. I was, I was honored to be nominated. So I didn't write anything because I assumed I was going to look over and see one of the brothers get it and I would do that, that slow clap. Yeah, so glad you got it. So, really proud of him, man. Really proud. So when they called my name, I was like, oh, damn, I have no idea what to say. So I quickly said something and um, I have no problem saying this either. Um, I'm a Christian, and I know where my blessings comes from. And there was that moment where I realized that I had been praying for this moment my entire life. Um, I had been praying to be on Broadway. I had been praying to be nominated for a Tony. I had been praying to perform at Radio City Music Hall, that my wife and I, all the stuff that we went through, being broke and all kinds of crap that you have to do to be this. People say, oh, you're a star now. You have no idea all the mess we had to go through to get to this yeah. moment to be called quote, unquote, star. And so I got there. And the minute I saw those people, I just shouted. I couldn't help myself. I was like, thank you, Jesus. I can't believe I'm here. And then I got off stage and went, did I just shout on national TV? <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see what happens. It was and such a beautiful, authentic moment. And yeah. that's why people love you. Thank you. And you bring that to Lafayette and Jefferson every day, eight times a week. In I got to bring me to the character. And I just hope that when folks pay their hard-earned money to see it, that they enjoy what I bring to the stage. And sometimes I know people, I mean, not this show. It's loved by everybody. But there's going to be shows that I, I'm in that people may not like. But um, Sammy Davis Jr. once said, they'll never, ever say, I didn't perform for them. I will always perform. I will always give 100% when I'm on that stage. When the light turns on, I am on. I will give you everything I can, and hopefully you dig it.